Hello everyone, Tech1421 here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal, my no Pokeball run. In the last episode, we were on the SS Aqua, chasing down a little girl, basically. And we got a reward as a metal coat, which we will never use. And I put in my PC, and maybe we'll sell it later. I don't know. Uh, but I, th I thought this, this Machoke here was pretty cool, so I wanted to dance next to it. And let's ask this guy what's up with this joke. My Pokemon is preparing the land for construction, but I have no money to start the project. Yep, nope, nope, run away from this. Uh, we're not giving you no money. Um, so, what I want to do is I want to go to Celadon City. Celadon City. Yes, the best city of all the cities. By far, there is no comparison to how good Celadon City is. Before we do that, we want to go into this building because this guy, <laughs> this guy, um, has what we need. And he has TM29, which is psychic, which is cool, which we are going to give to our newest member of our team, which we're going to get in this episode, and I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Yep, I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are going to go to our PC here because we need to deposit one of our Pokemon, and I think for now, I'm not sure who we can get rid of. We're getting rid of Spiro. Sorry, Spiro. Uh, Spiro, we need Spiro for Fly. And eventually, Dragonite is going to be level... Well, we're going to evolve into Dragonite. And, uh, but that doesn't happen until level 55, which is going to be a little while. So, um, it's probably smart to make Dragoneer at the very top of our party. Why, what? Nope, I want to move him. I want to, oh my gosh, I hate, I hate, I hate this. It says move. No. Ah, okay. We're switching Dragoneer to the front here. And uh, this is a route that is tiny, and you don't really have to worry about it. But here's Celadon, the best city in all of Pokemon, because Celadon City has so much going on for it. It's 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 crazy. Not only does it have a home of the best gym leader in all of the Pokemon games, which of course is Erica. Not only that, it has a game corner, which I am trying to locate. I think it's down here, maybe? Yes, I found it. Oh no, this is the restaurant. This is the restaurant, and if you go in here, uh, you get leftovers, which is an extremely important TM. Or not TM, what am I saying? Item. Hi, we're holding a contest, and we can't serve right now, sorry. Okay, fine. Um, we just wanted the leftovers, that's all. That's literally all we were there for, so it's okay. Don't worry about it, sir. Uh, is, there, is there something here? No, no, nothing there. Just, just a weird dead end. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the game corner area. Is this the game corner? What is this? Pokemon Center? Is the game corner? Is this where we're trying to go? Welcome. We exchange your coins for fabulous prizes. Yes. <laughs> I don't have enough. I need 55 more. Are you kidding me? Okay. We'll be back with 55 more. Poker chips. We're going to gamble our way to 55. We're not going to buy them. We're gonna gamble. We're gonna bet. Let's do this. Um, do I have to press anything? Yes, I do. Did we get anything? Did we get anything? What is this? What's going on? Whoa! No, what? Aw. Uh, that would've been sick. I haven't seen that before. I thought we had triple sevens for a second. Okay, keep going. Yeah, I'm not a gambling addict. I don't, I don't, I don't gamble, I win. 
This isn't working. This isn't working out for us. We aren't winning money. Oh my gosh. We're just going to go through all of our money. You know? Um, I would like to... Okay. Moment of truth here. Gotta line it up perfectly. Didn't get it. Can we get it? Nope. 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 Darn. Uh, <laughs> um, I would like to add that um, there is a vile plume. Not only one vile plume. Not only two vile plume. There are three vile plume at the top of our screen. I haven't won once. Like this game is rigged. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is honestly ridiculous. Like, this is worse than Vegas. Salon City, just eating my eating my money, breaking my heart. And, oh, we got six. Hey, look at those cherries. Okay, I'm done with this. Is there another game we can play? Play again? No, I don't want to play again. Get me out of here. Get me out of Celadon. What is this? Is this another game? No. Is this, a no is this a different row? Are these all slots? No, I don't want to play this. Get me out of here. Slots. Rigged. Do I Does anybody give me money? Do you give me money? Hey, champ. You like playing slots too? I'm trying to get enough coins for a prize Pokemon, but I don't have enough. Same with me. I think the slots machines will pay out. The odds vary amongst machines. Really? They do? Like, is, is there actually, like, a machine that's, like, rigged? Is that a thing? Hold on, I'm gonna look that up real quick. Wait, Zach received coin? Like, a single coin? I received... I, did I receive... Did I literally just receive a single coin? Okay, hold on. One sec. I didn't have any luck <laughs> on, the re on, on reading it. But I did, I did find out that there might be a little bit of a gimmick where you just hold down the A button here until, oh, no, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Okay, never mind. Uh, I think you can hold the A button down when there's, when there's uh, two sevens, when the two sevens come, and then wait until the other one comes into place. And you should be good. Let's see if this works. That no, didn't work. Okay, so you have to stop it a little sooner than that. Okay, well, I'm trying, okay? I'm getting there, I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting, I, I promise, I promise we won't play this too much. Um, we'll stop, okay? We'll stop. <laughs> we lost four overall. We knew, we knew our limits, but it's time to go up here and, and actually buy some coins. So we are going to buy some coins. And we're gonna need more later. But for now, this is all we need. If you go back to Goldenrod City, back in Johto, uh, you can go to the Move Tutor person after beating the Elite Four, and you can learn uh, Ice Beam as well as Thunderbolt, but it costs a lot. Uh, but for now, we are getting Porygon. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the two foot seven, eighty pound, magnificent Pokemon that I have tattooed on my right forearm. An artificial Pokemon created due to extensive research. It can perform only what is in its program. Ones and zeros, you know? Cool stuff. Uh give Pokemon uh give Porygon a name. No, sorry. We're just gonna name it before we go. Uh, we are left with 441 coins, which is all we need for now, because we're not gonna do anything else. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and look at this Porygon, level 15. We're gonna look at its stats and everything. Pretty cool looking. If I do say so myself. Comes with tackle, conversion, agility, and side beam. All things that we do not really need right now or want. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I am going to teach it. I'm going to give it XP share because it just makes sense to do that. And we're also going to give leftovers to whoever doesn't have an item, in this case muscle. 
And then I'm going to... I want to do something else, right? Yes. I want to give... Uh, psychic to my Porygon. Uh, and then... We will eventually teach it Ice Beam. It, and then it learns Zap Cannon, which is a pretty good Electric-type move. Only has... Unfortunately, only has, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> uh, something, what was I saying? Only has a 50% chance to hit, but paralyzes if it hits, which is really cool. And, yeah, so I think we're going to take care of a couple other things in this episode. We want to head over to take on some trainers, clear the path a little bit. Uh, we want to kind of get over to the area of uh, whatchamacallit place. Um, this is the Silfco building. The power plant, that's what I was looking at. Power plant. Um, you can't really do anything here in this game, which is kind of disappointing. At least right now you can. And, but, but we can get the upgrade. Which... Normally, you have to trade your Porygon uh, while holding an upgrade to evolve it, but because we have this cool kind of hack thing going in our game, uh, we don't have to do that. So, that's nice. That's cool. I'm happy. We are going to skip these players, these trainers, and I'll battle them probably off screen because I don't want to waste too much time. We will battle this guy though because we want to level up our Porygon and we might even see our Porygon in action. I have to at least see it once before. I don't want to, I don't want to evolve my into Porygon 2 quite yet because, you know, what's the fun of that, right? We want to, we want to see Porygon first because Porygon's awesome. Nothing, you know, nothing to, to hack on um, other dude, uh, Porygon 2 and Porygon Z. They're cool too, but Porygon, Porygon is awesome, right? You know, uh, Screech is going to hurt my ears, and hopefully not yours. Uh, Dragon Breath will get the job done, because our breath stinks. And Dragonair is going to get some XP. Not that much, though. Because we are splitting it half and half. He is going to use Muck. We are going to stay in. And Sam, the nerd, is going to go into Muck. We are going to use an extreme speed, which isn't going to be that effective. But I just wanted to use it, all right? Because it's a cool move. Um, and it's a quick animation. That's the thing. It's a really cool move. It's a really quick animation. It's perfect. Of course we get poisoned. Okay. So, Waterfall should kill Muck. Maybe? No. That wasn't even close. That was, like, nowhere close to killing Muck. Like, ridiculous. Uh, Dragon Breath. I don't know why I use Waterfall. Just use Dragon Breath to kill it, right? I do have a Dragon Fang still on this thing. On this thing. Um, so, but that's good. Porygon does grow to level 16. Which is cool. As we defeat Super Nerd Sam. Super Nerd Sam. We're gonna go into our pack and find ourselves an antidote. Use the antidote on Dragonair. Cure the poison. Because we don't want to be poisoned anymore. And we're gonna keep on going along here. We're gonna get spotted by this trainer. Which stinks because I didn't want to get spotted by him. Still a trainer. This is also a super nerd. This is super nerd Tom. He has a Magnemite. We have a Dragonair. Dragon Breath. Now, Magnemite is metal, so it can't really smell our breath. So that's why it's not as effective, but... It knows that her breath stinks, even though it can't smell, it knows, and that's why it got paralyzed. But it felt felt like it couldn't be the only one paralyzed in 
this battle, so we had to be paralyzed along with it. Of course, it's only fair, it's only right. And uh, we are going to knock up this Magnemite and get very, very small amount of XP because, again, we are sharing it and we are going to go into our Porygon here because we need to check this thing out, right? We got this thing in this episode. We've been waiting forever to get this thing. Look how cool that thing is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this Porygon. This thing is awesome. Um, now, we can't do anything to hurt this thing, so we're going to switch out into Muscle. And then just completely destroy this Magnemite. Um, but I I've noticed that our, our team doesn't really have that much to deal with electric types that well. Uh, if they can float. Like, if they have... If they're like, I don't know. In this game, it doesn't matter, because they don't have... What's that, what's that ability called? Where you, like, hover. Gengar has it. Magnemite has it in other games. I forget what it's called, but you don't have abilities in this game, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Porygon is going to grow to level 17. The magic numbers for Porygon is level 36 and level 44. That's where we learn the moves we want. Um, I will change Pokemon because we are confused and I don't want to hurt myself into confusion. Fraligator is water type, but it also has a dig. And that's why I went to Fraligator. So we're going to dig and we're going to come up on the other side a hopefully level 46 Fraligator. And, well, we are sharing, so is 300 experience going to really do enough to boost us to the next level? No. Uh, it's close, though. Next episode, maybe. 46. We'll see. Um, and that is going to do it. We have made our way into Lavender Town. We are close to the next town. Um, we're, we're, the goal here is we're making our way to the power plant. So, um, there's, I don't think there's really much to do here. Uh, you can talk to people and they, they'll say stuff about, I think they're referencing Mr. Fuji. Mr. Fuji does live here. Yeah. <laughs> it's not home now though. Um, so can't really do much. Uh, one thing I will mention is they turned the gravesite place into a whole, like, studio for music and stuff. What is it called? No, wait. No, what is, what is this place called? I know it's Lavender Town. Radio station. That's the word I was looking for. Radio station. Uh, but the power's not working. So uh, the radio station's down. So we need to turn on the power. In order to do that, we go to the power plant, do some other things, which we will try to do next episode. Uh, for now, we will gaze into the sunset at our newly acquired port gun. Look at that thing. Amazing. And uh, we'll, we'll end it here. And in the next episode, I'll do stuff. Bye!